this last one, um, you'll take a look when you're um, discussing polygons and you want to talk about exterior angles. Uh, first off, it's important that we draw the exterior angles in the same direction. So if I'm talking about this exterior angle, I'm going to extend this side to make an exterior angle. Then I'm going to extend the next side. I don't want to extend like this side and then here like this. I don't want it looking like that. Right? So when I'm talking about the exterior angle, I want to kind of go in the same direction. But it, typically they're going to draw it that way. So it kind of looks like if you were to like spin it around, it kind of looks like a, one of those pinwheels or something. Right? If you want things going the wrong direction. So they kind of, you know, they kind of look like here and then jump across to there and across to there. If you were to talk about like this one here, that's no good. So kind of you're expecting the picture to look like that. All right. Um, so if we take a look at this, all the exterior angles um, in this pentagon, all right? And what I want you to recognize is that the Pentagon has five sides, so we have the ability to find the measure of the interior angles, right? So I'm going to introduce five new variables. Um, let's go with F, F, G, H, I, and J. Okay. We've already seen a pentagon twice today. How many degrees in a pentagon inside? All five angles together. Uh, 540. 540, right? So I know for a fact if I were to add F, G, H, I, and J, I would get 540 degrees. The other thing I know for a fact, based on things we've learned in the past, is that each one of these pairs of angles in each vertex, A and F, G and B, C and H, B and I, E and J, each one of those forms a straight line, making a linear pair. So A plus F has to equal 180. And B plus G is equal to 180. C plus H equals 180. And D plus I equals 180. And finally, E plus J is equal to 180. So based on things we've learned today, the blue stuff and the green stuff, things we learned in the past, all that stuff written on the board is all true, right? Now, this is something that a lot of math questions involving some higher level thinking skills do for you. There's no way in the world to figure out the measure of any one of these angles by themselves, A, B, C, D, and E. This, this is not a regular <coughs> picture, right? So it's not regular. So there's no way to determine the, the value of those exactly, but it's not asking for what A, B, C, D, and E by themselves equal. It wants the entire sum of these five things. So what I know for a fact based on this green stuff, if I add all five of these equations together, the left hand side is just going to be the sum of these ten letters, right? It's going to be A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G plus H plus I plus J equals 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180, which equals 900. We've already learned that if we have equations, if we add equations to equations, if we add equal, equal things to equal things, we get equal things, right? So these are equal, these are equal, so I can add them together to make something else equal. I'm just adding all five things up. And if you recognize in this picture that E plus F plus G plus, oh, not E, F plus G plus H plus I plus J, this piece here is just what this is. That equals 540, right? So if I do that quick substitution, I'm going to have A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus 540 is equal to 900. So if I want to find the measure of A, B, C, D, and E, the sum of these exterior angles, 
That means I want to keep this on the left hand side. I'm just going to move this 540 over. I end up with A plus B plus C plus D plus E equals 360. What I've done here with this problem is I've generalized this problem. There's nothing magical about this pentagon. It's just a regular convex, or it's just a convex pentagon. It's not regular. But it's a, just a normal, normal is a better word, a normal convex pentagon. Again, I didn't measure anything when I drew it. I just drew straight lines and extended them, so I got exterior angles. And this generic pentagon, these five angles add up to 360. That means any pentagon, the exterior angles add up to 360. I'm going to go one step further and say that it doesn't matter how many sides this thing has. If it had four sides, what would have happened? This would have been 360, right? And there would be four angles now, right? So there would be four 180s, so that would be 720, right? 360, 720, subtract, you get 360, right? If it had been a triangle, or sorry, quadrilateral, four sides. Or sorry, I did four. If it had six sides, there would be six angles here, so that'd be 720, and there'd be six angles out here, so that'd be 1,080. 1,080, 720, subtract to get 360. Okay. So the general rule for any polygon is the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360. Some call that the easiest formula in math. The answer is always 360. If you see the word exterior, or sum of exterior angles, if you see these words, sum of exterior angles, the answer is 360. No matter how many sides it is. <coughs> On the quiz next week, there might be a question saying, what's the sum of the exterior angles of a 77 gone. That's a 77 sided polygon. The answer is 360. Okay, that's it. That's how you do it. If it's regular, go back here real quick. If it's a regular polygon, let me extend these sides here. So I got this side and so on like this. Right. Since all five of these angles are the same, that means all five of these angles have to be the same, right? Right. If each one of these angles inside is 108 degrees, that we've already figured out, right? Okay. 108 plus 72 makes 180, right? So each of these is 72 degrees, right? Well, if all five angles add up to 360, how many angles are there? Five. 360 divided by five equals 72. So if we're talking about a regular convex polygon and we want to know the measure of one exterior angle, we just take the 360 that they're all equal to, divide by the number of sides, that's equal to one. All right, so that's, I don't usually identify that formula specifically, but just know if it's a regular pentagon, or regular polygon, once you know the number of degrees, divide by that number of sides. And you have to figure out how much one is. In a non-regular one like this, there's nothing to say A, B, C, D, and E are equal to each other. The best we can do is say their sum is 360.